Good morning, modern steaders. Good morning. It's a cold, brisk morning. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for you to say it. We got a little bit of snow overnight, and it is 17 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know what that is in Celsius, but I know it is cold, and we got just enough snow. So when we're working on the eave overhang plywooding this morning, we're probably going to end up getting dripped on. Which you were trying to avoid. Because I was trying to avoid that, yes. Because once that sun comes out and hits the black of the grays, it's going to stop melting all that snow on the roof. And we're going to get a little wet. And then we also have to put some zip tape on it. So we'll be getting even more wet. Right, but the zip tape won't because it, it goes off the eave. Right, but you'll be standing under the eave. I'll let you do that part. No, that's your job. That's low. <laughs> you didn't eat all your dinner last night. What the hell? Nobody was hungry? I guess not. Their I haven't... yolks have been like super, super orange. Almost like a red orange. Morning camo, little man. I want it to warm up and I want that sun to come out, but I want to get this plywood up on this end wall done first. If it warms up or if that sun comes out, all of the snow up there is going to melt and it's going to be dripping right down on my neck. So let's try to get this wall done before that happens. So yesterday I went around and I measured 47 and a half inches and I marked all the corners. This one I want to snap a chalk line. I probably should have done this with all the zip boards, but I didn't think about it until now. So the other zip boards that are on the bottom row, I'm going to go around. I'm going to do like a liquid nail or something and cover up that bottom lip because it's close to the ground. I don't want wicking up moisture. So as long as I remember to do it on these boards, I am going to put some zip tape on the bottom and then fold it over and tuck it under and then that way this edge is sealed. I know they do make some different products that I could do this with afterwards like a liquid one so I'll have to do that all around the building come springtime. I'm getting a lot of comments and questions and some rude remarks on some of the stuff of the tiny house build. A lot of the stuff isn't done yet. We're still in the process of building the tiny house. So there are things that we haven't completed, but they will be getting completed. There. Then 
that'll seal up that bottom nicely. Yes, I know this is not 
a nail gun for putting plywood on. I have one of those back at the homestead and if I brought that up, then I had to bring up my air compressor and my generator. So there's a little bit of sheathing we're doing. The framing nails will work just fine. I hate to be closing up the side with the zip system sheathing right now because it's making it all look the same. It was nice having the window openings and to see what it was going to look like, but it's going to be a while before those window openings get cut out. I think it's like a 14 to 16 weeks before those windows will arrive. So we're going to be looking at this for a while now. Now we just need to get it nailed and taped before it warms up. Thank 
<laughs> All right, I can't see you, so watch out. Yeah. You want to be able to just barely see the blue line. Oh. Darn wind. Oh my goodness. Fish. It's like a sail. One side all buttoned up. Now we gotta go run over to the other side, the powerhouse slash bathroom, to finish up that side. We shouldn't get dripped on because there's no sun over there. To myself again. A little bit of snow. I just want all of mine. Snow came right off the ladder, right in down into here. And now I just got it all over my eyes.
info on the progress or the ETA of the front door. Yeah, you'll have to. Just about ready for spray foam installation. We just gotta frame up one more window. We're gonna put a window in the shower and we didn't wanna have that installed when we stood the walls up because we wanted to make sure it was exactly where we wanted it. So now that everything's all set, we're gonna go back and we're gonna frame that window up so it's right where we want it. I really wanted to have the window on the back wall where the washer and dryer are gonna be, but I also want to have some cabinets there. So the other places to put it in the shower, it's just gonna be a smaller, I want a really small window, but a smaller window just so you can get the moisture out, you need to cool off the bathroom. That'd be nice. Yes. And it's also gonna be a crank at one, so. An awning window. An awning, yeah. so you don't have to worry about it. So we'll check on the door, see when the front door is supposed to be here, because that'll be nice to have the front door in, and the window should be here in another week or two. Yes. So that'll be nice to get the windows in. We got another nice little snowfall overnight. I'm gonna say about a half inch to an inch of white fluffy stuff. Just enough to make it look so pretty. We need to get inside the tiny house today and frame up a window in the bathroom. And then I need to drill out the corner that's about right here where the interior wall meets the exterior wall. I need to drill that out in probably, I don't know, like 10 spots so they can get in there and they can spray foam. When the spray foam guy was here, I talked with him and he said the best thing to do is just drill, put a bunch of big holes in there and they will fill that with spray foam starting from the top and working their way down. I had a nice video clip of all of that, so I thought, but I think I didn't hit the record button when the insulation guy was here because I cannot find the clip. <sighs> you would think I'd know better by now. I've been doing this for just a little while. So after this is done, then we're ready for spray foam. And then we can go on to the solar panels. We need to build a wall right up here, but I don't wanna build that yet because I don't want it spray foamed. We are most likely going to put in um, French doors on the outside for now. Later on, we're not living in the off-grid harvest house. Who knows what we're gonna to wanna to do in here. We maybe we'll wanna put a garage door in here. This will be storage for most of the time or maybe I don't know, maybe it'll just be the greenhouse and we'll wanna leave the French doors. But if I ever wanna put a garage door in, I'm gonna have to redo the opening, put a bigger header in. And if I need to do that, the spray foam will be in my way. So this wall, I am not gonna frame up so that way I don't gotta worry about them accidentally spray foaming. It wouldn't be the end of the world, but it'd be easier if it's not. So I'm not gonna frame it up now. I'll wait till they're all done. And then we will rocks wool that wall. All right, the foam company told me to drill at least a one inch hole. We have a two and nine sixteenths Foster bit right here. We're gonna drill about every foot will go up. We'll drill a hole so that way they can spray foam this cavity. We have a two by six here, and then on every other side we have a two by six, and then we have the plywood. So let's get this drilled out. I don't have my arm brace, so this might be fun. We're gonna find out. Uh, let's go. two by eight at 23 inches. The 
batteries do not like this cold weather. That is for sure. So right here, we're gonna have our built-in shower. This is the only wall we have for a window. We want a window in the bathroom so we can have ventilation. So when I'm doing my hair and it gets really hot sometimes in the summertime, I can hate it. Or your bathroom. husband's in the bathroom steaming you out. Right, and the hair gets like, so I want to be able to open a window and let like some air flow. And then I think you should have, you should have something like that. <laughs> I think we're ready to move in. Ready? Oh, I need spray foam. Spray yeah. foam. And then what? Solar. Then we gotta get yeah. ready for solar. Solar. We gotta build an interior wall. Yeah. Get some plywood up, and then we can get the solar hooked up. Actually, next now is to finish up the solar array. Get all the panels off. And get prepped for, once they're done spray foaming, we can start installing our solar stuff inside. And then we can have power in this room. We can start running lights and stuff like that.
boy does it feel good to be all prepped and ready for insulation now. We're actually a few days ahead of schedule, which is nice. So now we're ready for whenever they call up and say we can come do the insulation. It's still gonna be a few days unless they're early. We'll wait and see, but it always feels good when people aren't waiting on you. So now we can get on with the solar project that we've been putting on hold. So that'll be the next video. And we got a lot of big things coming and every step now at the house is something big. Now to be finishing up the solar array, then insulation, and then we can get solar power in the house. And then it'll be heat. Oh, it's all big steps. I can't wait. Thanks for coming along on our homesteading journey. You guys are a huge blessing to us in our homestead. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, share it. It really helps. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed and we'll see you right back here in the next video. Bye.